Greetings and welcome, everyone. This is Pinky Ponage. I'm your host, Left in Humanity, <clears throat> and today we'll be playing the Saboteur. For those of you who've been keeping up with our channel, or at the very least trying to, thank you. We really appreciate you guys. As always, leave a like, subscribe, and let's go kick the shit out of some Nazis. Or at the very least, uh, how far we can get for the episode. Here comes our boy. Let's find out what he's up to. Oh, speaking of which. In the last episode, we saw a dickbag over there and his fancy douche mobile cheat me out of my victory. You don't want to spook him. Like back up me. Don't let him out of your sight. This isn't the first time I've run a tail, you know. So, we're gonna go fuck him up. Or at the very least, fuck up his car. Right now, though, we're doing our best to... You're getting too close! Okay, just watch the radar. And keep him in your sights. We are too far back. Hey, on streets like this, be happy I haven't run anyone. Never mind. You're going to lose him. Oh, shut up. He's still on my radar. I'm not exactly hard to keep up. He's not hard to keep up with. He's running over more people than me. Like he's headed out of town. There's only one place he could be going. The Double Sig Motor Works. That place is going to be crawling with crowds. This scheme of ours could get tricky. I've heard rumors about that place. Some people say they're making more than cars out there. The head of Doppelsieg has powerful friends in Berlin. Aye, Karl Eckhardt. I saw him at the race with that banshee bodyguard of his. Franziska. She's one cold bitch. That's the motor works up ahead. Let's stash the car and take a closer look. Back over there on the left. We don't want him to see us. Is it really necessary to have the gate that tall? <sighs> well, whatever. Fancy a little exercise. I didn't come all the way out here for the view. Pretty rude of us to drop in without an invitation. I'm French. I'm supposed to be rude. Come on, let's get That's over there. That's racist. Board. Looks like a good place to climb over. Where the fuck are you going? Stay out of sight. Give me a boost. You can't do it seriously? Well, I suppose that makes him kind of a hero. Oh, fuck! You all right? Yeah, get over here. How did you learn to climb like that? Creeping out of bedroom windows at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> There's no way I'm letting you dead, my sister. Nice place. They should have a great view of the lake from up here. There it is. What do you say we take it for a little test drive? Right over that cliff. You can do the honors. I prefer to watch. Ah, good old fashioned revenge. And judging from the cutscene, this is going to be practice. Stay out now! Ah, <sighs> <sighs> looks like I need to work on my parallel parking. Maybe we should leave a note, eh? Dear Wanker, sorry about the bang up. Send the bill to me, ours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give me right arm to see the look on that tosser's face. That can be arranged, Herr Devlin. Shite. Juice, hold on, Juice. Stay with me. 
Stop! Stop this! For God's sake, stop hurting him! Sir, I'm still trying to figure out. For God's sake. Is this historically accurate? I mean, I know they did stuff like this, but... Was this an actual thing? I'm afraid the pain was more than he could bear. Francisca tells me you have been eager to see the look on my face. <clears throat> you are not disappointed. What the fuck is going on here? Do you believe I spend every waking minute behind the wheel of a race car? <laughs> I have other, more practical talents with which to serve the Reich. My services are in great demand of late. Why are you doing this? I'm a patriot. You're a fucking animal. We are all animals beneath the skin. My godfather taught me that. He was a butcher, did you know? He taught me that the flesh holds no secrets. Once the skin has been removed, I had a long talk with your friend. <sighs> like a bird. But he could not tell me what I most want to know. Is that a fucking knuckle bracer pistol? Bishop is not half as clever as he thinks he is. He imagines that he's all blind to his childish schemes. Typical British arrogance. Who the fuck is Bishop? Maybe you should be talking to him. Do not insult my intelligence. British agent. You know that you were sent here to conduct surveillance on this facility. What? You think I'm working for the damn Brits? You must be out of your bloody head. Enough. You will tell me every operational detail of your mission. You will tell me. One way or another. Pull your head out of your arse, man. I've got no idea what you're talking about. Your choice is simple. You may choose to tell me exactly what I want to know, freely and without omission. In which case, you and your friend will return to France to live out the rest of your lives in peace. So? Or you may refuse. How are you there? I'm right beside you, Jules. In which case, neither of you will ever leave this room. Make your choice. Now! Go fuck yourself! Before this is over, they're gonna wish it hard. Right. On to the revenge. Is there a gun I can pick up? Rifle? Bumper, Y or X. Now we're talking. Thanks for the pistol. 
Let's see how long I can go without disturbing it. Holy shit! Yikes! color system. I mean, this might have just been a limitation of the tech, but shit. <laughs> oh, speaking of Spider-Man references. Someone must be talking about me. Come on, Kraut. Come here, you little fucker. And stealth kill. <sighs> kind of reminds me of playing Solid Snake. this led into that project at some point, or if this was what that was originally going to be. Yeah, no. Would not have survived that drop. The Pupanov Marsh is trust by ended. The assault in Ingwerza came first to open. Welcome to Yeah, ich Ich hab keinen mehr. Dann hol welcher. Jetzt. Oder du kannst eine Vokalatrin in Dienst haben. Du kannst wirklich ein Arschloch sein, Bauer. Ja, ich fühle mich schrecklich. Mach schnell. Should seem on the prowl hereabouts.
Fuck you. Okay, now let's get the fuck out of here. Meep meep. Excuse me, I'm a third party behind you. Hi. Do -do -do -do. Sorry. Jesus. Ha ha! Eat a dick. Well, I'll give him credit. Fucking hell. Excuse me. Ha ha! Um... I need to borrow a car. <gasps> There's gotta be something I can use. Oh shit. Your work. Come here. Thanks, dick bag. Oh, I wish I had something faster. This is going to be. Oh wait, I can use this. Eat a dick. This is madness. All these soldiers can't be after me. Something's going down. Something. Big. There is no way in hell I actually have the speed to jump that with this vehicle. Speed, but 
no protection. Shit, 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 and really, really bad controls. Excuse me, coming through. How you doing? Hi. That little girl in Inglorious Bastards running over the hills. The only difference is I'm running to danger. And evidently along vines, which is, is that even possible? Fucking hell! Fucking hell! Down, you Italian pig! I didn't tell you to get up. Do they really do that? Flame throw, please. Shit. You know what? I'm gonna rescue Frenchie and then I'm gonna call it a day. <clears throat> Fucking hell, though. I mean, a lot of games these days, they really do change the way you look at battle. <sighs> to be honest, this is a. You Italian pig! I didn't tell you to get out. I heard you the first time. Shut it. stay in here to make sure everyone burns to death? What the fuck? I mean, I've dealt with evil monstrous aliens, douches from another world, religious psychopaths, I mean, for fuck's sake, I even dealt with a mutated race of monstrosities. But the human race still scares the life of the living shit out of me. God damn it, really. Ah, fuck! Fuck me! Fuck! Fuck! Wir sind Fräulein.
Thank God you're unharmed, child. Thanks, Sean. They would have burned me alive. These men were Gestapo. What are they doing here? Dierker sent them. Dierker? Oh my God. Where is my brother? Where is Schul? No! Get away from me! This is your fault! You took him to that place! Schul! We can't stay here. More Germans will come looking for us. Where will we go? West. It's our only chance. Right. To Paris, then. We'll get you home. Let's go. Fucking hell. I guess, I mean, now's a good time for closing statements, so... After the cutscene! At least now we know what the fuck happened. Veronique! Oh, my child! Merci Dieu! We heard on the radio. The fighting at the border, we were so worried. I see you brought guests. These are Jules' friends, Jean and Vittore. They need a place to stay for a while, someplace discreet. Well, but uh, where is Jules? Did he not come with you? Mama... Uh, something terrible has happened. Madame Rousseau. No. No, this can't be happening. Your son... He was like a brother to me. No, 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 mon petit Young man, I must know. My son, Didi, was it quick? Aye, quick and painless. Bastard, the killer won't be so lucky. I took this from the farm. He would want you to have it. Well, I'm going to go ahead and save and quit here. Okay. Alright. Again. I mean, for fuck's sake, in a day and age where we have fought aliens, demons, monsters, gods, we've killed all those fuckers, I'm still surprised at how fucked up humanity is. I mean, for crying out loud, I don't think the devil was coming here to make deals with us. I think he was begging us to extend his lifeline. Anyway. <clears throat> this has been Pinky Ponage going... God damn! <laughs>